Hello everyone, Wojtek here and today I want to talk about my very basic and easy IK food system. It's definitely not perfect, but it's really easy to implement and probably to further improve it. If you want to follow along, you need a proper character controller setup first. You can use anything you want, I will use my root motion test scene. So let's start with some basic setup. So firstly, uh, you need to move up a little bit the collision shape of your character. So let's open our character scene and yeah, let's select our collision shape and let's move it up so that IK system would have some space to lower foot if needed. With that done, we need to add few new nodes to our scene. So uh, right now I am adding a new node. Um, it will be a bone attachment and uh, I will rename it to left foot. I will attach it to my left foot bone of my character. I will use it later to position a raycast node from a code. And then we add a skeleton IK node. I rename it skeleton IK left foot and we need to change few of its parameters and as a root bone I will use a left up leg bone and as a tip bone I will use a left foot now we need a target node so I will create yet another node in our player scene I will place it under spatial this time and it will be a position 3D I will rename it to a target container left Inside this node, we need to create another position 3D node. Let's name it target left. I will explain why we need this setup later. Okay, now we can set up our target node for Skeleton IK. So let's select it. If we play our IK right now, you can see that our foot is rotated in an oddly way. So we can use our target left node and change its rotation until we achieve a foot in a rest position. This way we can manipulate our target container node in a code without worrying about proper default rotation of bones. We also need to enable a magnet in a skeleton IK properties and set up its position. In my case it will be a 10 at Z. You should set up it according to your needs. So let's test it. We can move our target container node and our foot should follow it. If we disable a magnet, we can see it behaves really strange. Ok, and lastly, we need to add a raycast node. Remember to enable it and set up its length at Y axis. Repeat those steps with the right foot. As you can see, with an interpolation value of IK system, you can blend between animation and our target node position. Now we need to manipulate this interpolation value according to animation. So firstly you should temporarily disable all animation trees, it will be easier to work with an animation player. Ok, so let's add yet another 3D position node and let's name it IK interpolation left. We will animate and use its transform Y position as an interpolation value and we will read it from code. We So with proper animation selected, uh, in my case walking cycle, create an animation key for its transform. At the beginning left foot is up, so the value should be zero, meaning no IK system is used. Let's create an animation key and check use bezier curve. Remove unused tracks. Ok, we need to edit this point on the curve, let's change its handle size. I disabled snapping so it will be easier to work with an editor. We need to find another point at which a foot is moving down and we need to create another point. Right now our foot is connected to ground, so we want to use an IK system at full strength. We change its value to 1. 
I will continue with this method until all animation is completed. You can see the finished result on the screen right now. So that's how it looks for both legs. You need to repeat with this step for all of your animation you want to use. With our scene setup finished, let's create a script. I will name it character.gd. And this is the script I will use. You can adapt exported values to your needs. It's really simple. I set up the created nodes at the top. I run IK animation method for each leg and basically I read bone attachment position and I move this position a raycast. Depending on the detected collision I recalculate foot placement. And that's it. You can see the final result on the screen right now. I tweaked my animation graph for target nodes off screen and added some new animations. It's definitely not perfect, but it's really easy to implement and works good enough for many projects. Let me know what you think about it. If you have any suggestions or questions, please leave a comment below. I hope you like it and see you on the next video.